Republican presidential hopeful Rick Perry comes under fire at a Tea Party sponsored debate as GOP rivals tried to rattle the front runner. Tommy Andres reports. A desperate search is underway in the San Bernardino Mountains near Lake Arrowhead for a missing eight. Wildlife officials plan to catch and kill a pack of coyotes that moved into an abandoned house in Glendale. Six more women have come forward with claims that a rug store manager in Laguna Beach sexually assaulted them. A recent small study found that insulin might be effective as a treatment that slows or even stops the progression of Alzheimer's. Reese Witherspoon is still sporting bruises from last week's accident. She was photographed yesterday on her way. Well, Will Smith and Mark Anthony put on a united front at the Patriots-Dolphins game last night. The actors were snapped together, putting to rest rumors that they are fighting over the... Well, Cher, Micah, it was the second debate in two weeks for Republican hopefuls. This one co-sponsored by CNN and the Tea Party. And it was clear from the get-go that the current frontrunner was the main target. Now, the general consensus is that among the leading candidates in the debate, Mitt Romney came out ahead, especially with Rick Perry seeming a bit shaky and fending off the onslaught of attacks by his fellow Republicans. For KTLA 5 News, I'm Leela Feinstein. Back to you. What it was that created this frenzy, Leela? Oh, you know, I guess we can call it, Micah, Missoni mania. It was at Target this morning as shoppers rushed to snatch up a line of much anticipated limited edition merchandise from the high end Italian designer. Now, this type of partnership is happening more often. High end designers creating cheaper versions of their fashions for lower end stores. The reason? Well, they appeal to cost conscious customers who want to be stylish but aren't willing to pay couture prices. For KTLA 5 News, I'm Leela Feinstein. Micah, back to you. All right.